Hello everyone. Recently I've been having problems watching videos on YouTube when I was using Mozilla's Firefox version 13 web browser. Every time I went to YouTube to watch a video I will receive a black screen and it will say on it error occurred. Try again later. And no matter what I did nothing seemed to correct the problem. I tried going in there and uninstalling my, uh, my latest version of web browser for Firefox and reinstalling it. That didn't work out. And a whole bunch of the problems I tried and didn't work out. So just recently I came across a solution that worked for me. Now I don't know if it's going to work for you but let's give it a try. Now please bear in mind that I am not a computer wizard or a guru or anything like that. I'm not even a video guy. Um, this is actually one of the first postings on YouTube I've had in quite a long time. So I'm a kind of old school and I'm going to do this via showing you on a piece of paper. <laughs> okay, so again, bear with me. I'm sorry. But at any time you want to, you can pause this video and read the text on here at your own pace and, and do it. But the first thing you need to do is you need to go into your system and uninstall the current version of Adobe's Flash Player you have. And the best way to do this is to go to the control panel, which you'll find on the bottom left hand screen of your computer. You want to look for programs and in particular uninstall a program. It'll, it'll bring up for you all the file programs your system has. You want to look for a file program called Adobe Flash Player 11 plugin. Once you see this program, right click onto it and uninstall the program. It might take you anywhere from about 15 seconds to 30 seconds or so, depending on the speed of your system. Once you get that done, you need to go on the web again and download the last version of a flash player you had that was working with your system in version 13. And most likely, that um, that can only be found in one location. Do not go to Adobe try to dot com and type in Flash Player. You only download the current version. You got to go to a particular place where Adobe has previous versions of its Flash drivers software for developers. And here's the address again. You want to go to Adobe site, and here is a website you want to go to. So take a look, a good look at it type it into your browser and then go to it. Once you are there, you're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page with the bottom third. And you want to look for a file. Um, the most previous version you had was working again for your system. Most likely that was going to be found in this uh, file here. You will see it says release date 504-2012 flash player 11.2.202 dot two three five measuring 159 megabytes total download that version now you will right click on to it and it will give you two options either to open or to save if you click on open your system will most likely download the file itself and unzip it and all you gotta do is look for the appropriate file or if you're old school and or whatever else you want to do you want to save it save it to whatever folder you want to do but whatever, you need to unzip that file one way or the other. You then need to know if your computer is 64-bit or 32-bit. Um, look into your system, it should tell you. If it's, if your computer is probably within the past six months to a year, it's most likely 64-bit if you installed Windows lately. Well, what you want to do, once you know if it's 64 or 11 or 32-bit, you want to look for the folder, subfolder, called 11 underscore 2R202 underscore 235 underscore win underscore 64 bat or 32 bat for a 32 bit window system. Once you go to that subfolder, click onto it and you want to look for an application file. And here's the file you want to look for. Depending again if it's 64 bit or 32 bit. Look for flash player 11 underscore 2R underscore 202 underscore 235 underscore win 64 bit or win 32 bit. Click on it and install the file. Again, it should take about a minute or, or two, no more than that. And then once it is installed, simply restart your uh, Firefox version 13 web browser, 
go to YouTube and hopefully this will work for you okay but again um, freeze this video anytime I'll try to show you the instructions here you go okay hope this helps it works for you if you got any questions please please write them down I'll do my best to reply to you but again I'm not a com uh, computer guru okay here it goes guys take care hope it's hope this helps you out bye now